welcome to the channel hey it's been a minute i ain't even gonna lie it's been a, it's been a while since we've talked um today is monday whoop, whoop. um i am on my way currently on my lunch break i'm on my way downtown to um look at my car for the final time before it goes to its resting place um <laughs> It looks like I'm happy right now. It looks like my energy is good, but I am stressed the hell out. I am like mentally, I am going through it. So, in one mile, turn right to merge onto I-65 North toward Nashville. Okay, got it. Okay, so your girl has been going through it these last couple of months. Um, I got into my first accident on December the 30th uh, where I had my Ultima at the time someone ran into the back of me messed the back of the car completely up and I kind of knew that they were going to total the vehicle out but of course I didn't want that to happen because that car was completely paid off it had been paid off for years and I was okay with driving that car until the wheels fell off okay and at least until it fell off on my terms, not on somebody else's. Um, I went to Atlanta. Um, my friend, one of my best friends, um, helped me out with, you know, connecting me with some very good people at Lexus of Smyrna. So if you're looking for a car, definitely check out Nally Lexus of Smyrna. I'll make sure I put that in my description below the website. I'll make sure I pop it up somewhere over here on the screen or at the bottom. Nally Lexus of Smyrna, they looked out for your girl and was able to put me in a nice Lexus. Um, wasn't the car that I was expecting to get, but you know, God works wonders, okay? I didn't think I was ready for a luxury vehicle. I didn't think I was light, on that level. Use the right two lanes to merge onto I-65 North toward Nashville. Um, got the Lexus, my friend brought the truck up to me like a couple of days after I bought it because I was still in my rental car when I went down to Atlanta. Um, so I couldn't drive it back. That Monday, I started driving the vehicle. I'm in love with the vehicle. It's, it's great. You know what I'm saying? Because it's mine. And come Thursday, you guys, I was in another car accident. Someone ran off the road or I don't know if they were just not paying attention. I know it was raining. I do remember that. It was raining that morning. I was taking my daughter to school. Um, she was in the back seat, like right behind me on the driver's side in the back seat. And I just remember we were at the traffic light. At the red light, we had already completely stopped, um, minding our own business. And this car that's coming from like, you know, the cross lane, boom, like that this car ran off the road i'm not sure if he was asleep under the wheel i'm not sure if the rain caused him the hydroplane i have no idea what happened but he ran off the road and he hit the truck that was right next to me because me and the truck was in you know was right next to each other at the light he hit the truck that was right next to me and hit that truck so hard to where the truck turned sideways and T-boned me like this. They had to cut me out of the vehicle because I couldn't move. The car door had completely rammed into my leg. Um, so the fire department was, was trying to cut me out of the car. I was trying to, you know, deal with London and try to calm her down because she's in the backseat screaming and crying. And it was just a lot. I'm still here, no broken bones. I'm grateful for that. But now, I'm in the process of having to find another car again. And I didn't even get a chance. I haven't even paid the car note on that on the last truck, on the Lexus that I got. I didn't even pay the car note yet. So, I'm, I'm mentally dealing with that. Got to call the finance company to let, to let them know like that I was in this accident and that my insurance should be cutting them a check for the car um, since it is total. And now I'm in the process of trying to find another car. 
that was a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm currently on my way downtown to the car repair shop that has my truck since they appraised it and they said it's just too much for it to be fixed. I'm going down there to clean out the car, um, get everything that I need to get out of it before they completely savage it and take it to a place where I can't access it. All right, guys, here is the car. It looks great from this side, right? If you come over here, this is where the accident happened. My whole door is gone, it's completely gone. This is my first time actually seeing this up front on like how bad it was you see all the broken glass and stuff here and yeah i know i want i want to can i nope i can't get through that store so yeah this is where the impact of the accident happened you guys i'm just so grateful that i'm able to like walk out of this like just tell, looking from the impact like you can tell they literally had to cut me out the door would not open for me I got out alive and I'm still able to walk. Hey guys, happy Friday. Um, so I know I'm like in a weird place. I'm not like at work right now, but I am in Atlanta and I am at Nally Lexus of Smyrna, uh, which is actually the same place that I got my first car from. Today, I'm here to hopefully get another car. So, I just wanted to step in really quickly to give you an update on what's been going on this week. I told you guys on Monday that I had a very busy week ahead, and we are finally here towards the end of this week. Hopefully, I will be ending off this vlog with a new car. So, keep watching. I will try to you know, take you all through this car buying, buying process with me. Um, may or may not, you know, I'll let you know how it goes. But I have some wonderful people um, that are here working with me to help me get another car. All right. All right, guys. So I am back in the car. Um, I did not leave with the new car. So I'm back in my rental. They just weren't trying to work with me. And I ain't like that. And if it's one thing that I do know, it is to not settle, okay? So, I will find that car that I want. I feel like if I have to pay a car note, then I should pay for a car that I like or love, okay? Not like, love. I want to love it. If I have to pay a car note all over again, which, not, which I have not paid a car note in years. If I have to pay a car note all over again, at least let me pay for something that I love, okay? And something that is within my budget, especially if I know that the car is worth way less than what you're trying to offer, okay? And that is why I walked away. So, um, I'm not gonna leave just yet. I've been wanting to go to Slutty Vegan for a while. So, yeah, and I'm hungry. I was at that dealership from 11 o'clock this morning to 6 o'clock this evening. And which I think is crazy. I, I pulled a shift at that dealership and I should not have even been there for that long. So, I'm kind of pissed off about that, but whatever. I'm starving now. And yeah, I'm about to go and pick up some food. So I will see you then. <laughs> 